Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Cheryl and on this channel we talk about fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. So if you are interested in any of those things, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you don't miss another video. video I will be doing a recap of what I wore this week and I've decided to start doing these series on my channel just to kind of encourage myself to wear more of the pieces in my closet if you're not aware I do work from home three days a week and I go into the office two days a week so for those days that I work from home I really don't be trying to put on any clothes I'll just work in my pajamas or like throw on some sweatpants or something like that unless I have a zoom meeting then obviously I'll put on like a nicer top but I want to challenge myself to get up and get dressed every single day and just put forth my best self. Because like I always say, when you look good, you feel good. When you feel good, you do good. And I want to do good. So these are videos that I will try to post on my channel each week. And they will be posted on Sunday and it will recap the week before. So, so we're going to start with Tuesday. And this is my day in the office. And your girl did not want to go to work on this day. So I was not excited about putting on any clothes so I wanted to be as comfortable and as relaxed as possible so I decided to wear a graphic tee. The graphic tee that I am wearing is from the brand Go Getter. She is on Instagram and I believe she's also on YouTube. I'll be sure to link her channels down below but she does these really really cool graphic tees and personalized tumblers and just a whole bunch of things so make sure you check out her channel. So this is the graphic tee that I wore and I just love it. I think that it is so fun and playful and I love the colors they are so perfect for the springtime and this is what it looks like on the back and it also has a little tag here on the inside but the t-shirt is just such such good quality and the graphic tee I knew I was going to have to dress it up a little bit so I paired it with these pink Fashion Nova high-waisted wide leg pants and this oversized blazer from Zara and then like I said I just want to be casual and comfortable all day so I decided to wear my nude Shein flats and I thought that this was a really cool a really fun look and it, and it kind of picked up my mood throughout the day so it was a really really good outfit for me to wear on a day that I really wasn't feeling like going into the office so that was my outfit for Tuesday let's move on to Wednesday so for Wednesday, I had a totally different outfit in mind. I had put it together the night before and I really was on the fence about it. I wasn't really convinced with the outfit. So I walked in to show my husband to kind of get like his feedback and yo, I could have just not gotten his feedback because he laughed at me and he was just like girl you look like a ladybug I don't know he wasn't feeling the outfit I wasn't feeling the outfit so we decided to just like you know put that one to the side and give it a little more thought before we debut that outfit so I went with something different and I do like the way that this outfit came together so I wear this black satin cami from Express tucked into these high-waisted ankle-length pants also from Express I paired it with this beautiful black blazer from Walmart by the brand Sofia Vergara this is the most perfect blazer it is everything that I could ever ask for in a blazer so let me give you a closer look first of all look at the lining you know how obsessed I am with lining and this is just everything so it is the leopard print which is my absolute favorite print and it's like that satin material so very shiny very soft very well made it's like such high quality and then it's all throughout in the lining in the cuff of the sleeve and you can obviously wear the sleeves uncuffed I would never do that I would never wear this blazer without cuffing the sleeves because you need to see this perfection. Like, you need to see that. So, um, that is the lining. The material is so soft. It is stretchy. Not very stretchy, but it does have a little bit of stretch to it. So, I did get this in a size small. So, I believe you could get your normal size. If you want it to be a little more oversized, you can size up. But, like, I need, she, I need her to be fitted. I need her to hug my body so I got my regular size but she is such good quality and then you have your buttons I mean they're just plain black buttons right there and then you have a faux pocket that also has 
the leopard print right there. I mean, it's all about the details for me. All about the details. And then you do have a little bit of shoulder padding here. It's nothing that's over dramatic, just perfect, just enough. And y'all, it comes with a little vent split in the back. And I absolutely love when blazers have that detail. But this one I love just a little bit more because you do have that leopard print peeking through when you're walking and it kind of like flaps open like this. Like, yo... If you can find this, get this blazer. Google this blazer. Get this blazer. Like, you need this in your closet. I think I bought this last year, so I don't know if it's still available, but if it is, I'll link it. If you can find it, go into your local Walmart and see if they still have a few of them. I wish I had bought two because I cannot not have this in my closet like i need this in my closet forever and for shoes i did wear my new christian louboutin apostrophe heels with the 85 heel height and y'all you need those you need those they were so comfortable and it was my first time wearing them and i had no issues i kept them on the entire day now i don't wear my heels during my commute to work, I always have on flats. And then if I go out for lunch or something like that, I will switch into flats. I don't just wear my heels as I'm walking around the street. I don't do that. But I did wear them the entire time that I was in the office, walking from floor to floor. We have carpet on some floors. We have um, tile on some floors. And I had no issues. None whatsoever. My feet were so comfortable. The leather was so soft and I was also feeling how it was adjusting and molding to my feet. So it was stretching out a little bit. So I do know that each time I wear them, the leather is going to soften and it's going to stretch. So I'm very, very glad that I did get my actual size and I didn't size up with these because I feel like they're going to loosen up over time. And if I had sized up, then they would be way too big and be sliding off the heel of my feet. And you know, I don't like that so i'm glad i stuck with my normal size and i love them i will definitely be wearing them on repeat best believe they will be on repeat so that was the outfit for wednesday let's move on to thursday now for thursday which is my work from home day like i said i usually just have on either my robe pajamas or i'll put on like a sweatsuit or something but for this thursday i did have a few meetings with our senior level executives so i wanted to jazz up the outfit just a little bit just to be you know a little more professional and presentable while on camera so, so i wore this sheer button down top from express and then i just tucked in one half of it into these high-waisted lounge pants that i picked up from tj maxx and for shoes i would usually if i'm in the house just have on my slippers or some socks but i knew i was running out to do a couple of errands throughout the day so i wore these nude steve madden loafers with the gold buckle detail so not much to this outfit i wanted to be comfortable and casual because i was working from home that day but i still wanted to be a little bit elevated since i was on some zoom calls like i said with the senior level executives so that was my thursday outfit let's move on to friday so for this friday i actually used annual leave time because i had some time that i needed to use before i lose it so i needed to run out and do a couple of errands i needed to go ship some packages so i wanted to be again cute but casual so for this look, I decided to wear this really old black tank top. I'm not really sure where I picked this up from. And I tucked it into these black high-waisted spank leggings. And I wore it with these black dad sandals that I picked up from Walmart. I buy them every single year. I absolutely love them. And to finish off the look, I wore this black button-down shirt from The Gap. As for me, I don't like to wear my leggings out without having something to cover the bum. I know a lot of people do, but that's just not a look that I like for myself so that is my outfit for friday and let's move on to saturday so today is saturday actually while i'm filming this video so i'm actually wearing my saturday outfit so i have on this two-piece sweatsuit that i picked up from belt.com because the weather is tripping outside it is cold and raining and your girl don't like to be cold so i am wearing this sweatsuit that i picked up from belt so the sweater is a bit oversized and long so i tucked it inside of these high-waisted pants just to give it a more of a fitted look and then i paired it with these chelsea black boots that i picked up from nordstrom's i want to say three 
I want to say like almost three years ago, y'all. I love these boots. I have been trying to find them just so I can get another pair because, like I said, these are like three years old. So they're starting to get a little worn because I wear them so much. Like when I first bought them, I was wearing them every single day every single day so i was trying to get another pair just to have another fresh pair on backup because when you find something good like you just gotta get it in multiple so you can always have it but unfortunately they have just been sold out they do have other similar styles but i don't like them as much as i love these so I'm just going to hold on to these and try not to wear them as much so I can preserve them. And I'll just keep stalking the Nordstrom website until they restock and then I'll pick up another pair. But I absolutely love these shoes. They're just so comfortable. They're light on the feet. They're not too heavy and clunky. That's a really, really good boot and perfect for like the rainy weather that we're having today. So, so that is my outfit for Saturday. And that, that brings us to the end of our very first series of what did I wear this week? I hope this is a series that you will like and you will look forward to each week. Like I said, if you have any other thoughts or suggestions, please leave those down in the comment section below. But before you leave, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.